Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Blu-ray haul. Yes, I have a package here all the way from Germany. Uh, we have six Blu-rays in here. Uh, these were in a special deal. It was three for 18 euros. So I picked up six titles, which took me to about 36, 37 euros, which is a fantastic price. I think it works out at something like 5 99 per movie uh, and I think all of these I don't have so yeah let's uh, unbox them I'll show you what I've got they are slim cases it's a possibility they may all be eco cases but uh, I'll show you what films I picked up okay so we're just going to dive in and I'm just going to grab them out right so let's pick out the first one then Okay, and the first one is After Jag. <laughs> yes, this is US Marshals. Uh, this doesn't have a UK release. I figured, you know, I've got the Fugitive on 4K. There is no Fugitive. Uh, there is no US Marshals on 4K. I'll grab this because I haven't seen this in a long time. Tommy Lee Jones, Wesley Stipes and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, it, yeah, it's a very flimsy case. So let's just do a little unboxing on this one. And this, uh, let's just look for uh, a bit of eco, eco, I was going to say eco friendliness, but there ain't no bloody eco friendliness. Yeah, and I've decided that if these are eco cases, then I'm going to order a load of replacement cases off eBay to replace them. Wow, actually, it's not an eco case. No, it's just quite flimsy. Yeah, so uh, I don't know why. It's, it feels like an eco case. It's one of those ones where you push in and it just sinks in. So maybe they're just using less plastic. Anyway, there we go. So that is US Marshals. Next, what should we pick out? Let's pick another one out. That is 1517, 1517 to Paris, which I have not seen this. This is a Clint Eastwood film. Um, this is about some terrorists or something that take passengers prisoner on a train, obviously, to Paris. Uh, and uh, as far as I remember, they actually use the people themselves, not actors which I think is why the film didn't do too well. But I haven't seen it, so uh, it's definitely worth, you know, checking this out. So there we go. So that is the 1517 to Paris. I mean, it's a Clint Eastwood film. It's going to have some merit to it, isn't it? It's not going to be all completely bad. Let's take that off. Ah, uh, <laughs> OK, yes. Maybe I was just lucky back then, so we got an eco case. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to get some replacement cases. There we go. So that is 15 to 15, 17 to Paris. Next up. We have. Oh, yeah. Wiki wow, wow. Wiki wow, wiki wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Yes, we have the Wild Wild West. I always had a thing for this film. Everybody hated it. You know, it was the last airbender of its generation. But I I, I enjoyed it. It was goofy fun. Uh, Kenneth Branagh was absolutely nuts in the film. We've got Salma Hayek. We've got Kevin Klein, And, of course, Will Smith. Uh, I have not seen this film since it came out. So I'm looking forward to watching this again. Yes, the Wild Wild West. And again, this doesn't have an, a, a, a UK release as far as I'm aware on Blu-ray. So uh, I was lucky to manage to get that. Oh, I tell you what, I haven't checked to see if there's any reversible sleeves to get rid of those. OK, this one is not an eco case. It does have artwork, but you can see there's no inside artwork. So I'm stuck with the big 
slappy green. Yeah, strangely enough, let's have a look, see if we've got anything on the other ones. I didn't even notice on the inside. No, that one's, that's not reversible either. And what about off the jug? No, that one isn't either. Okay, so we're going to be stuck with the uh, the tw the uh, the big green bits on there. Never mind. I don't really care for five pound ninety nine anyway. Right, let's keep going. We've got three more to go. What is this one? This is upside down. Oh yes, this is the Peacemaker. Yes, George Clooney and Nicole Kidman. Um, I do you know what? I really don't remember too much about this. All I remember is a train going into a tunnel and then a nuclear bomb going off. That's mainly all I remember about this film. I don't remember a, a whole lot about it. Wow, okay, so this is definitely going to have to be rewatched, but uh, I, do, I do remember that I enjoyed it. So let's get rid of that. Uh, of course, we got a, a big blue one now on the side there. Uh, oh, okay, right. We don't have any artwork on the disc, so we have a silver, a plain silver disc, and you can actually see all the way through it now. But we do have reversible artwork on this one. Okay, so let's swap that around. So that one is fine as it is then, because there's no eco case uh, and it's uh, reversible art. So let's put the disc back in there. OK, there we go. That's cool. Nice. That's that one. Uh, two more left. that was the abyss then no it is not his cocoon yes um i'm pretty sure i have not got this in the in the collection i'm pretty sure i don't no i don't uh yes this is the classic this is the classic film i need to get cocoon 2 as well brilliant okay let's do this one and see if we get a reversible sleeve and an eco case uh, well, we get an eco case <laughs> and then we just have the title there. So that will definitely get replaced, that case will. And then the last one is Red Planet. Yeah, uh, Val Kilmer, Carrie Ann Moss and Tom Sizemore. Again, I've only got limited recollections of this film. I was more into Mission to Mars. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's got a fantastic score by Ennio Morricone. Beautiful score. Uh, I love the characters in Mission to Mars. I love the whole story. Uh, but it always got shat, shat on. Yeah. And I think it came out exactly the same time as Red Planet. So it was kind of a Armageddon, Deep Impact type of thing. You know, coming out around about the same time. I think those two came out around about the same time. Or am I thinking of Dante's Peak? I can't quite remember. But yeah, Red Planet. Fantastic. So definitely need to give this one a go as well. Maybe I'll watch Mission, Mission to Mars uh, and then uh, Red Planet. And then just uh, make my mind up. Which one do you like the, the most, Paulie? Uh, I think it's going to be Mission to Mars. It's got a great cast. Gary Sinise, Tim, Tim Robbins, uh, Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. Red Planet. OK. And. OK. That's a bit of a weird. That's weird artwork. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to be? I suppose it's supposed to be Mars. The surface of Mars. I think. Is it the right one? Or have they given me something dodgy? Does it say Red Planet? Yeah, it says Red Planet. I don't know what on earth that is. That is weird. Yeah. Maybe it'll make sense when I watch the film again. But uh, no reversible artwork on that. There we go. So that is six Blu-rays there. Uh, 18, 18 euros for three. So I'm happy with that lot. 
yeah, they are slim cases so you know they're easier to put on the shelf but uh, i will be replacing the ones that are eco because uh i don't like eco cases fantastic so there we go so hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it by giving it some thumbs up blah, blah, blah. don't forget to subscribe comment and share i think the offer is still available if you go over to amazon germany and look for the three blu-rays for 18 euros offer there's a whole load in there there's pages and pages worth so uh you might be able to find some stuff that you know tickles your fancy oh right until the next video then bye bye